Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today we actually have quite a uh, basic tutorial. Um, I got this a few weeks ago in um, the comment section. I forgot who it exactly was, but um, it was to build a trampoline. Um, so this is the design I came up with uh, with the texture nodons, and it actually functions uh, very well. So if we go ahead and jump on it, um, you see that I'm actually not pressing A right now, and it automatically uh, jumps for us. But if we were to press A and time it, we could see that you could jump a lot higher. So this is the normal uh, uh, default jump that it gives you. So let me go back on it. And then if you time A, you can actually jump pretty high, um, just like how a uh, actual trampoline should function. And uh, the great thing about this too is you can still uh, move around uh, freely, so you can get on and off of it, and you could uh, move your character around, and then of course you could do uh, bigger jumps. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, get right into this. All right, so here in the edit mode, um, you guys can tell that we have a uh, third person camera setup um, and we actually added a jump button for this um, if you guys do not know how to do this I feature this all across my channel um, there should be a link in the top right and it should show you guys exactly how uh, to make this but let's go ahead and actually make our trampoline so the textures that you guys just saw um, I made them over here uh, so let me just go ahead and bring them over here so what we need to do is actually make a um, a cylinder. So that's what this uses. And um, you can tell that there is no uh, color right here. And that's, that's why it looks like it's um, sort of raised on uh, these little legs. Um, and that's what I did for the texture. So let's go ahead and first uh, get a cylinder. So go to objects, simple objects, and grab a cylinder. And what we're gonna do is make sure that it is the exact same size as our texture. Um, you guys could experiment with it and depending on how big you want your trampoline to be, um, you guys could adjust it. Um, let me go into the settings and I'm gonna increase this a little bit just to get a good feel. So we're gonna turn off destructive, destructible, and uh, movable. So if we go and look in the game, uh, this looks like about the size that I want. Uh, actually, I think it's the exact same size as the demo, uh, but let's go back into edit and uh, For the first texture. It's just a regular uh, black object uh, or black um, Texture and for the texture face. We want to make sure that it's Y plus um, This is gonna be the top of the cylinder so we can go ahead and just directly connect that right there and these are the sides. So if we go into the settings, you can tell we have X negative, X plus, and Z negative, Z plus, uh, just the sides, and we leave out Y negative and Y plus. So we can go ahead and also uh, directly connect that to our object. And if we go ahead and look in the game, um, you guys see probably that there is a problem with this. Uh, what we need to do is uh, if we go back into the object, we can make it invisible and that should actually fix the uh, the problem with the uh, cylinder under it. And there we go. It fixed it right up. Um, so now all we have to do is add the, uh, the jumping mechanism, uh, which is actually really, really simple to make. So uh, go to objects, sensors, uh, go ahead and grab a touch sensor and we're going to connect it to this object. Um, and there's a certain way that you have to make the touch sensor. I'll show you guys that real quick. But um, go to settings and for check what, we're going to be checking just the person. Um, of course, if you want anything else to jump on the trampoline or to bounce at least, um, you guys could, could add any of these. Um, and of course, you would have to add some sort of teleport method. But um, person is the easiest and I'll show you guys why. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is position this touch sensor so that uh, it sticks out a little bit from the top and that it kind of goes in the middle a little bit. So, uh, so that we're able to touch, uh, to touch the touch sensor. And basically what happens is if our person touches this, we simply just want our person to jump. So we can actually directly connect the touch sensor output to our jump. 
So that means that we could uh, jump either with button A or when we touch the touch sensor, it will automatically make us jump. So if we go into uh, play, we can see that actually our touch sensor is a little bit messed up. So to fix that, we're going to go to touch sensor and make it a cylinder. Okay, now if we go and see, it's still a little bit small. So we're going to um, just scale that up a little bit. So it needs to be 280 like that. And that should be about it. We're going to make it just a little bit smaller. Uh, let me fix that. Like 270, uh, 2.70. And if we go ahead and look at it, uh, we see that on the edge, um, we, we don't jump, we, we don't automatically jump, and that's what we want just so that we don't accidentally clip into it. But if we go directly on it, we can see that our character automatically starts jumping. So I'm not pushing A right now. It's just uh, the touch sensor is picking us up. Um, it's, it's basically signaling that we are um, touching it. And then, of course, if we push A at the same time that we land, um, we'll jump higher. So if we go like that, we can actually get a, a way bigger jump, um, just like a trampoline would work. And uh, let's go ahead and just... Uh, make the touch sensor invisible real quick. So we'll just go and turn off visible. And if we go ahead and look in the game, there we go. We have a functioning, um, we have a functioning trampoline right here. And of course, we can go ahead and jump on it. Uh, thank you for the person that suggested this. It was uh, a fun tutorial. I, I haven't done this one yet. Um, and it was actually pretty simple to make. But uh, keep them coming, guys. Uh, go ahead and uh, leave any sort of suggestion, uh, any sort of suggestions that you guys have. And uh, yeah, have a good day. I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Bye bye.